Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here and this is my one of my current LP houses. I've just moved a maid in as Merelda Shamwell. Haha, <laughs> I thought that last name was a little bit funny and Niles Butler, like Niles from the nanny, but Niles and I, I am going to be making a butler's quarter at the back of the house here for Niles because I'm going to give the maid the spare room over here as Merelda Shamwell will sleep there and then we're going to be making this butler quarters over here. When I say butler's quarters, it's <laughs> I guess not traditionally a butler's quarters but Something along the lines of that, so let's just get into it. I think we're going to move these out of the way. We might actually just delete them all because, yeah, it's probably just going to be the easiest. And, uh, I mean, it's a shame that it's going to cover up this little garden slightly, but you can still see the garden through these windows, which is nice. So it won't be completely, like, wasted. Uh, all right, so, 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 we want to, I'm just thinking. Yeah, I think we'll start it from here and we'll just make the walls in front of these uh, plant pots. We might put some trees in there. We're going to go all the way to this side of the lot to make it a little bit more worthwhile. And then we're going to have probably a slight balcony area because we're going to have to put the door in somewhere so so we might bring that across make it slightly bigger uh because we'll need a staircase just the one staircase should we have a balcony or should we just go like that that is like way too small so we're not going to do that Let's just bring it across here and then we might trees in my way <laughs> and then yeah we'll make it a slight balcony area so we'll go like this probably need to pull it back one more actually okay that'll do that'll do that'll fit a single bed inside which is what we want let's make that into the afternoon okay copy a staircase Okay, the thing is, I don't want this to look grand at all. It's going to be, like, just enough to be comfortable for someone to live in at the home without looking like they're living in the lavish style that the, ma that the main house has to offer. Let's put this roof on this way. And uh, bring it down a little bit like that. So... There we go. I think it's looking okay now. We're going to need to have like a door. We might go with this door and then we'll copy over some of the windows that we've already got on the rest of the house. Probably these ones are cute. Might do a couple of them on this side. That looks kind of cute there. And we're not going to have any windows on this side. Otherwise, you'll see into the butler's house from the main house which would be just unbecoming <laughs> so we're gonna go like that and do we want stone at the top of this or probably probably okay might also carry one of these lights like that there okay so now we've got our actual room sorted out we need to do the inside so let's Maybe we should just get floorboards, like what's in the main house, and this kind of wallpaper. Get some lighting. What did we use for the lights in here? Okay, so our butler, Niles, is going to have... A nice traditional bed maybe this one and we're going to see what the rest of the room the colors are going to be from which bed we choose because you can't really do much with the bed colors they're already colored so it's a bit hard that's pretty plain and simple or we could get this bed which this bed's too fancy too much fanciness going on or oh, this one looks pretty Give checkered a go. 
I don't know, I think the stripes are our best bet. Which is easy to work with. Let's do that. Uh, we could have a little bathroom over here, but then if I make this into a second room, it's going to be annoying for you guys to download it. We should go this way. I feel like... We might go like this. We might go like that. And you can have a little kitchenette, maybe, for himself. Okay, let's get a nice bedside table. That matches the bed. That's quite cute. And... A little side lamp. Hmm, we could go with a lantern. Although that seems kind of cruel to just give the butler a lantern to live off. But it's like old school style, which is pretty cool. Like, that would potentially be rad. Go red. Oh yeah, we could get some ready maroon colors into this room. That might be nice. Uh, yeah. Or I wonder if we could get some actual... Ooh, stripes and stripes? I don't think so. <laughs> I would probably enjoy a really deep crimsony purple red, but I don't think we actually have that. We have these brown colors, which is pretty bland. I don't know about that. It's still... Whoop, not that one. That's too... I don't know what the word is, but it's just two. I think this color is the best we have so far. We might go with this. So we've got brown and red going on. It's quite nice. We've got the little crimson light in there too. Oh, the other thing that works well with crimson is that... I know it sounds bad, but that baby poo green color. <laughs> Does anyone know what I'm talking about? I see it so often uh, and it, it's actually really beautiful color oh gosh I'm just digging myself into a hole right now but trust me it is when you use it the right way it's almost like it's none of these this color like those two look really good together not so much with that bed though unfortunately but these colors are kind of dreamy I really like them together. I know that, I mean, you're kind of beginning to look a little bit Christmassy. <laughs> but it's not too Christmassy, okay? It's just a little bit. Maybe, maybe we are going Christmas colors right now. All right, let's just go back to the plain feature wall right there. Oh, is this the best bed we have? Beds do frustrate me. I mean, it could go yellow with the red. Those do go together really nicely. But it's a bit too punchy for a butler. Let's go back to that uh, bed that had the option of the blue checkered on it. This more butler. Uh, let's go this one. Okay, okay. I'm settled. <laughs> I'm settling on that one. It's a done deal. Okay, so I think if you're a butler, you'd also need somewhere to put your clothes. So we should have a nice clothes chest of drawers. Maybe that could be over here uh, for belongings. Notice there's like a thing in our way. So we're going to move that across. A little dressing area and then maybe a mirror would be a nice gesture to have in there so they can feel comfortable. Hmm. It's kind of not the best shape, is it? This is totally a little bathroom space. Oh, that could be the bed space where you go to sleep because it's kind of hidden a little bit, which is nice, so you have a bit of privacy from the rest of the room. Okay, done. Have this there, and then maybe we can actually have a little bit of a sitting area. So, can 
armchair. Uh, that's okay. Oh, I just realized I haven't painted this wall. Quickly do that. What's this? Oh, that's a little bit more made up, isn't it? Looking a little bit nicer. Does that red wall still work, even if it's not? I mean, we should probably make it like this. Okay, that's looking better. I feel it. I feel it more now. We could probably... So he has a little spot to sit and read. Maybe like that. And then what should be in the middle area? Maybe we could put a TV in here. Or a bookshelf. Bookshelf might be a good idea. Storage. Nice traditional one. I mean, it's got nice furniture in here. You have to... You have to agree. Maybe we'll go with... These bookshelves are, like, so expensive. To get one that matches the room. And there's this big plain one. Okay, maybe... Okay, so maybe he has his chair to read. Oh, I don't know. It's just not really working. That bookshelf there. The other option is to have a little kitchenette area. Like I was saying earlier. Is there one with a darker top? Maybe this one. So he does... But then if we put in a kitchenette, we're going to need... Oh, maybe just, just a coffee. Just a coffee thing. So enough to make your coffee in the morning. So that's all good and well. Have a pillar in there? No, the pillar looks a bit scary and intimidating. This could actually be a stone pillar in the middle of the room, which I kind of like the idea of that detail. So we've got a bit of a coffee spot and maybe a sink in here to use if he needs to... You know, brush his teeth, even though he doesn't have his own bathroom. Hmm, not feeling this one. I don't know, what do you usually have in a butler's area? Got a little bit of kitchen room. I guess the last thing that you'd like to have is a bit of a table in the middle where you can sit. Oh, someone's mowing outside of my room. That's really annoying. Sozzle, sozzles, guys, if you could hear that. Oh my gosh, you seriously gonna come close to my room while I'm recording? Because that's just... Just don't do that. <laughs> this red theme kind of works, but kind of doesn't because it's getting in the way. Because it doesn't really match. Hey, you go, so he's got his lonely table for one over here. Alright, we'll give him another chair in case he has a friend over. Little kitchenette area, but nothing too crazy. Maybe we'll go like this. Hmm. I don't even know about that one. It's kind of weird to be eating at the end of your bed, isn't it? 
I was just thinking if we could fit a fridge in there, but that's going to be annoying because the sim will always go to this fridge and not the other fridge. Oh, well, that'll work. That'll work. And then we'll get some lights in here. Some more old school ones. Slide it up a little bit and another one over here. And you should have some kind of picture on the wall. What would a butler like? What would Niles like on his wall? A fruit bowl, of course. Because he's a foodie. That's one of his uh, traits. But everything's super matching in here. Maybe some sunflowers would be nice. Okay, so he's got a coffee station. He's got a sink if he... Needs it, uh, but he can use the bathroom inside. Easy to add on another bathroom if need be. And maybe we can pop this in here. Oof, that does not go at all. And this kind of works. Ties in the red. Oh. How big is this one? It's not too bad. I feel like something in here might work. I love it in those colors for some reason. I haven't really used it yet though. It's a bit too much red. We might just go with the neutral browns, but it still lightens up the room just a little bit. And then we'll have a tissue box. We'll have maybe some books on the ground here next to the couch. Put some shaving stuff up there. I don't know, I think that's pretty decent for, uh, for a butler to have just moved in. We might put some more fruit on his walls. He really likes cooking, you see. And maybe... If we still had intercoms in The Sims, I would put one over here, like, if they want to call him. Unfortunately, we don't. Oh, a fruit bowl would be nice. Let's put a fruit bowl in here. So he has fruit in his room if he gets hungry. And maybe a little cabinet here. A couple of cabinet-y things. Oh, and a washing basket. Because he's been kind of working. He's been on the job. So we put a washing basket at the end of the bed. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's... Okay, okay, is there anything else I want to put in here? A cookie jar, because he sneaks cookies from the kitchen to have with his coffee in the morning. Love it. <laughs> there we go. And we'll make his books look like they've been read a little bit more. By making a bit of a pile, lifting them up there. Then we're going to change the color of them and lift them up again using the 9 key. So it's got a real stack. So much of a stack there going into the uh, wardrobe. Okie dokie. All right, guys, well, I think I'll leave this uh, right here. Oh, we've just got to put in some stuff out here just before we finish onto his balcony area. Oh, we could put a little flower box thing too. That could be quite cute or maybe one of these. It's a bit big and overpowering. Oh, so he's got some flowers around. 
cute. Love it. Love it, love it. Uh, should we put some trees maybe just to cover it up a little bit there? If you have a tree there too. Yeah, I guess we could put pine trees in these gardens. These garden box things. Break it up a little bit. Like that so it's more private. Maybe a, just a chair out here to, to sit on. But you know, you've got to be nice to the butler. They deserve to be treated just as well as the rest of the household. And I've actually made this butler kind of evil. Like he does have the evil trait and he, his aspiration in life is to be really wealthy. Which I thought was pretty funny. Um, and the maid is seductive. So they're both after the boss's wealth. In any way that they can achieve that. He can have his own lot of pot plants too. This is like his, his own space in the house. Alright, anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll upload this under my user Delicracy with a capital D so you can download it if you like. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.